sky above the port is the color of television, tuned to a dead channel. Novel by William Gibson. Dramatized by Mike Walker. Neuromancer. It's not like I'm using. A sprawl voice. It's like my body just developed this massive drug detection. A sprawl joke. Another day to get through. God, I need a drink. Herr Vage was in here earlier with two Joe boys. Maybe some business he has with you, huh, Case? Rats. Barkeep at the Chatsubo. Using his prosthetic arm to pour Kieran beer for the crowd. Me? I don't know from anything, Rats. In an age of affordable beauty, Rats ugliness is the stuff of a legend. The arm, a Russian military prosthesis, seven function force feedback and a dirty plastic. He can squeeze steel. Oh, you're too much the artist, Hercase. <laughs> you are the artist of the slightly funny deal. <laughs> sure, somebody's got to be funny around here. Sure as hell isn't you. Can I get a drink? Well, it's a bar, if you can pay. I can pay. I have a job. I sell stuff to wage. Oh, did I tell you Herr Wage is looking for you? You told me. Then maybe you don't have a job anymore. <laughs> no future, neither. <laughs> I guess I had a future once. Way back. Last year when I was still working. I operated on an almost non-stop adrenaline high. Jacked into a custom cyberspace deck that took me into the Matrix. I was a thief who worked for other wealthier thieves. I stole from the big corporations. And then I stole from my employers. Sin against the Holy Ghost. We don't mind the money, Mr. Case. Sure, you keep it. That's fine. You need it, see? Because you are never going to work again. We are going to screw up your nervous system. Just enough. To destroy your ability to serve cyberspace. I hallucinated for 30 hours while the toxin corroded my nervous system. The damage was minute, subtle, and utterly effective. The eye of the mind was shut. The body is meat. I fell into the prison of my own flesh. Hey, you sleeping okay, Case? You sure you're okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. As long as I take the pills. Give me another. He wants to see you with a hole in your face. Rage? No way, I owe too much. Goes out. Well, maybe you're the example. I seriously advise, find the money to pay the man. You'd better pay me also. The two beers, Herr Hunger Artist. I told you, Rats. I think you also owe this gentleman. Herr Wage, how great a pleasure. Too seldom do you honor us. Wage's eyes. Vat-grown, sea-green Nikon transplants. How you doing, Case? The suit, gunmetal gray, a platinum bracelet on either wrist, a Joe boy on either side, bulging with grafted muscle. Gentlemen, I want no trouble here. The ashtray, shatterproof plastic. You don't take nobody out in my bar. So who's taking anybody out? It's just business between Case and me. A consignment. I heard you want to do me, Rach. <laughs> You have my stuff? Time's just in. You have to wait. Give me some time. You've got no time with me. I don't want you, Case. We're clear. You and me. What? I sold your contract. I don't have a contract. <laughs> you do now. Come on, guys. What the hell? That's... What is this? Hey, go home, hair artist.
cheap hotel. If the place has another name, I don't know it. I rent a coffin-sized room here. Ten floors high, lashed to the building next door by epoxy resin. What the hell was happening to me? My life was crashing to a point of no recovery. Oh, shit. Close the door real slow, friend. You armed? Who the hell are you? No, I'm not armed. She wears mirrored glasses. Then I see they are mirrors set into her head, protecting her eyes. So you never see them, never know. Squat. What she's thinking. You with Weech? He was lying. You gonna kill me for him? I think you screwed up, Case. But I'm not gonna offer you. The silver lenses grow from the flesh above her cheekbones and her nails. <laughs> the nails look weird. You bought my contract? One live body. Brain still somewhat intact. Molly. My name is Molly. I'm just collecting you. Man I work for wants to talk. That's all. That's good. Except I do sometimes hurt people. She holds out her hand. Pam up, and with a click, ten double-edged scalpel blades slide from beneath the burgundy fingernails. She smiles. The blades slowly withdraw. After a year of living in backstreet hotels, the room at the 25th floor of the Chiba City Hilton seems enormous. Get some coffee inside you. Looks like you need it. What I need is my business. Sun's up, Case. This is your lucky day. Hey. The guy appears from nowhere. Big, blue eyes, so pale I think of bleach. Special forces ring through the left earlobe. This man is bad news. This is not my lucky day. You're okay, Case. But you're not going anywhere till Mr. Armitage has his say. Well, I don't have anywhere to go anyway. Too young to remember the war, Case. Petersburg, Kiev, Siberia. We invented you in Siberia, Case. Well, what's that supposed to mean? Screaming Fist, you ever hear yeah, the name? Some kind of war mission, wasn't it? Special forces flew into Russia, tried to destroy their computer nexus with virus programs. Yeah, I heard about it. Nobody got out. Uh-uh. <laughs> One unit made it back to Helsinki. Ah, no. You're a console cowboy. The programs you used to crack industrial websites were developed for Screaming Fist. We flew in on Nightwing Microlites, a pilot, a Matrix deck, and a jockey. We were running a virus called Mole, first of the real intrusion programs. Icebreakers? Yeah, I-C-E. Intrusion countermeasures electronics. Break into any computer system in the world, no matter how well protected. You know, the problem is, mister, I'm no cyberspace jockey now. Case, I was there when they invented your kind. <laughs> Look, you got nothing to do with me, or my kind. Sure you got money to hire Razor Girls to drag my ass up here, and I'll never see cyberspace again. And that's where I live now. The street. The sprawl. <laughs> Our profile says you're trying to con the street into killing you when you're not looking. Profile? You're a suicidal case. Our profile gives you a month, and our medical projection says you'll need a new pancreas inside a year. Those faded blue eyes. Washed through. Bleached out. What would you say if I told you we could correct your neural damage so you could work again? Say you were full of shit. Huh? Then I'd ask you what your terms were. Well, I'm not very different from what you're used to. Let the man get some sleep on it. Terms. And now, right now... Terms are that you do what you're told. What? Where is this? It's a clinic case. A good one. Doesn't have a name that good and we sit in a Japanese garden white rocks white gravel waiting robot gardener to clean up after you nobody leaves anything here yeah no trace at all scared it'll work you've no idea the kind of technology Armitage has like he's giving the boys here the program they'll need to fix you It'll put them three years ahead of the competition. I look at her. 
black leathers, red cowboy boots with Mexican silver toes, the quick silver lenses of her eyes empty, looking at me with insect cam. How long you work for Armitage? A couple of months. Before that? Someone else. Working girl, you know. Yeah. Funny case. What is? It's like I know you. That profile he's got? I know how you're wired. No. no you don't know me, sister. You're okay. What you got, it's just called bad luck. And how about Armitage? Is he okay? Well, I tell you, the man's definitely onto something. He's got big money now, and he's never had it before. He gets more all the time. Maybe, maybe something else is running him. And what's that mean? I don't know. I think they're ready for you, Case. Too late to back out now. Cold steel odor. Ice caresses my spine. Fading down corridors of television sky. Voices. Memories in my head. Cold steel hair, artist of the shady beard. Cold steel. Hey, me and Case, we got no problems between us. I know what he wants, huh? He knows what he wants. Then, black fire finds the branching tributaries of the nerves. And pain, beyond anything to which the name of pain is given. You're still full of endorphin inhibitors. Case, it's Wednesday. Have this. Where are we? Cheap hotel. Oh, it was a dream? It was real. Oh, man, my back hurts. That's where they replaced your spinal fluid. Changed your blood, too. You got a new pancreas thrown into the deal, and some new tissue patched into your liver. The nerve stuff, well, a lot of injections. I gotta punch dick. I gotta know. <laughs> I'm sorry, hotshot. Eight-day wait. Your nervous system would fry if you jacked into cyberspace now. Doctor's orders. Where's Armitage? Settling up. We're out of here soon. Amsterdam, Paris, then back to the sprawl. Before we go, somebody I have to see. Armitage won't like that. I owe the guy. For what? Beer. Ah, in the money, my artist. A little. Enough. Thank you very much. Rats, can you do a go-to on a guy? Find out what you can. Name? Armitage. He has a suite at the Hilton. Okay. Well, you know as much as me. This gentleman has an arrangement with the Yakuza, the mob. Yeah, they're screening him from my search. You know history then? You know all about the Russian war? Yeah, sure. Lasted three weeks. What's the no? Screaming fist? Yeah. <laughs> Don't they teach you history now? Big scandal after the peace. Watergated the Helen back. The brass, your people, Washington, they wanted to test some new technology, so they sent a mission into Kiev. They knew all about the Russian defenses, it seems. Sent the boys in regardless, just to see. They were dead before they started. Sitting ducks. Any of those guys make it up? Yeah, I think maybe one team got hold of a Russian gunship, flew it back to Finland. Didn't have entry codes, so they shot their way in through Finnish air defense. That's all I know. Big scandal. No thanks, Rats. I owe you one. Yes, I think maybe you do. Stop check at the clinic. We pack and leave. The last I see of cheap city are the lights and darkness. Then a mist over black water.
and the drifting shoals of waste. Home. The sprawl. The Boston Atlanta Metropolitan Axis. Program a map to display frequency of data exchange and information, and Atlanta burns solid white. I wake from dreams of airports, and somewhere deep in the sprawl's ferro concrete roots, a train drives a column of stale air through a tunnel. I wake and see Molly naked, just out of reach, across an expanse of white sheet. Overhead, sunlight filters through the soot stained grid of a skylight. Blank walls, no windows, factory space. I know this kind of building. The tenants would operate in the interzone where art wasn't quite crime. Crime, not quite art. I am home. Someone's coming to secure the place. I could do that. Infrascan, perimeter, screamers. I got enough. No, I want it done tight. Suit yourself. Coffee? Yeah. Mr. Armitage, were you ever the heat? The way he looks at me, I sort of regret the question. There's something about his face. Too still. Inhuman. I mean, a lot of you, uh, special forces guys. Um, I mean that number you had them do in my pancreas. That's a cop routine. You're a luck about case. You should thank me. The one we bought for you is clean. There's no drug effects. Yeah, well, I happen to like my dependency. <laughs> Good, because you have a new one. How's that? You have 15 toxic sacs bonded to the lining of various main arteries. They are dissolving very slowly. Each one contains a poison, same one your former employers gave you when you stole from them. You have time to do what I am hiring you for, Case. Do the job, and I can inject you with an enzyme that'll clear you out and leave you healthy and still fit to work. Otherwise, the sacks melt and you're back where you were. You need us, Case. As badly now as you did when we scraped you out of the gutter. Mm. This is good coffee, Molly. Thank you. Summer in the sprawl. The mall crowd swaying like wind-blown grass. A field of flesh shot through with sudden eddies of need and gratification. Your computer deck is being delivered tonight. What did you get me? Ono Sendai Cyberspace 7. The best. Sony monitor. Osaka computer. Wow. So where's Armitage now? Hotel. He likes some classy. Near airports. Did you know about it? Huh? The poison shit, did you? No. Well, you think it's true? Maybe. Maybe not. <laughs> Works either way. You know any way I can find out? Maybe. Come on, do you care? I saw your eyes when I talked about the deck. You want it more than love. It was pornographic. You need to get back into cyberspace. You're hungry for the Matrix. Yeah, you bet. So what are we doing out here? Visiting a friend of mine. Her sprawl wasn't mine. Empty streets, an alley, a blanket hanging over a door, a steel door. Molly doing hand jive in front of a dusty camera. Silent messages. Well, time and counting, Mo. You know the rights. We need a body scan. Yeah. We're implants. So come on through. I'll check you first, Molly, just in case you're bugged. Stand there, between the pylons. On the marks. Now give me a 360. You got something new. Infrared behind the glasses, readouts, camera eye, Zeiss icon. Okay, you're clean. Okay, you. On the spot. Right here. Give me a turn. Mm, guys of origin. Some cheap dental work is all. You read for biologicals? I think this is the Mayo Clinic. Climb up on the table there, kid. We'll run a little biopsy. I can't see nothing. No toxin sacs. It doesn't mean there aren't any. Maybe something neural. I can't tell for sure. Okay, what else? I'd like some privacy.
total, so no one can scan us. Put the screens up and leave us alone. Fine by me. You're paying by the second. We can talk now. This is as private as I can afford. What about? What we're doing. And what are we doing? Working for Armitage. And you're saying that all this isn't for his benefit? Uh, yeah, it ain't. I saw your profile case. And I've seen the rest of our shopping list. You ever work with someone who's dead? No. You know that the Dixie Flatline's dead? I heard. You're gonna be working with him. Or at least with a total recording of his brain. Somebody got to read an old Dixie? No, I can't see it. He'd never have sat still for it. Believe it. SenseNet. Big media company. They paid him mega to record his brain patterns. You knew him, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, he was the best. Died brain death three times and got revived. Only if SenseNet PLC of the recordings, I don't see how we can get a hold of them. Well, they sure ain't gonna hand them over with a nice smile. So we're just gonna have to take them. And that's where it gets... odd. Odd? Now, I've, I've been trying to figure out who's backing Armitage, putting down all the cover, stacking up the money. It ain't the mob. Someone else. It's bigger. Getting the Dixie Flatline out of SenseNet's vaults, I, I mean, we could, we could steal their new program ideas for next year. We'd be richer than shit, but no way. We're just going after the Flatline's brain scans and nothing else. So Armitage isn't interested in the money. Yeah, this whole thing is weird. Who's the guy outside? Finn. He's an old connection of mine. Fence, mostly. I got Armitage to take him on as our communications tech. When he shows up later, you never saw him before, right? Right. So what do you know about Armitage? For starters, nobody of that name took part in Operation Screaming Fist. Now, I think once you jack into cyberspace, you should have a little of ground. Oh, man, he'd kill me if he found out. No. He needs you real bad. Besides, you're clever. Good at what you do, huh? Who else is on your list for the job? Guy called Peter Riviera. Certified psychopath. One very nasty piece of work, I hear. Got a talent. He's one-way telepath. He can make you see what he wants, and what he wants is mostly sick. Thanks for telling me, Molly. Hey, we got an axis. We partners in this? Got a lot of choice, huh? <laughs> you got it, cowboy. No choice. We hang together, or we sure as hell hang separately. Okay, Finn. We're finished here. The Matrix has its roots in primitive computer games, in early graphics programs, and military experiments with plugging computers directly into the human brain to enter cyberspace. A virtual space in which actual websites and information banks, emails and viruses have apparent solidity. Cyber jockeys can jack in and move freely within this space as if in a real world. What's that? I just an old kid show. Computer off. So, you ready to step back in again yourself now? Eight days since the op. Try it. Scared. Oh yeah. Yeah, I guess. Okay. I'm going out. Have fun. Slap on the dermatrodes. Settle the terry sweatband across my forehead. Not having to look. Known and all by touch. Find the power stud. Can't I still do it? In the bloodlit dark behind my eyes, silver phosphines boiling in from the edge of space. Images jerking past like film compiled from random frames. A blurred, fragmented mandala of visual information. And please, now. <laughs> A gray disk, the color of Chiba City sky. Now. And it flows. Flowers for me. The fluid neon origami trick. The unfolding of my distantless home. The virtual world made real. There. The great scarlet pyramid of the Eastern Seaboard Fishing Authority burning beyond the green cubes of the Mitsubishi Bank. The flickering yellow of the Chrysler Corporation's vast information banks. And far away, like galaxies, the spiral arms of military systems forever beyond my reach.
but I am here. Now, home again. And I am laughing. Yeah? Hi, I have an appointment. I'm cleared for entry. The name's Finn. Come on up. I thought you went out. I did. Then I came back. How long was I? Whoa. Eight hours. I guess it worked then. Yeah, it worked. <laughs> I like value for money. Jesus, where did you come from, Mama? Did you? Uh, I was here. You know, I didn't see it. Work to do. This one coming up, the fan. You can trust him. Hi. Hi, Mr. Armitage. Fan, this is Case. Now, you got the stuff? What is this, please? Somebody? I got some hardware for your boss. Well, for you, a muggy here. We're fitting her with Sim Stim. Huh? Oh, come on, wise up. It's a flip top switch, basically, for your deck. When you're plugged into the Matrix, you flip it, and you'll be plugged into Molly here. You see through her eyes, hear through her ears, feel what she feels. You'll be able to hear her. She won't be able to answer you. But I'll know when you're there, Case. So don't get any ideas. We're going into the SenseNet building. Nobody except God gets in there. Enter their vaults. And even God doesn't get in the vaults. Molly will, with you riding mental shotgun so we can monitor her progress. Please, Mr. Armitage. I will be laying down a certain amount of covering fire, right, Finn? Oh, yeah. Believe me, this is outrageous. It is perfect. We're using one of the big anarchist street gangs, Panther Moderns. They're going to call in on SenseNet's private security line, mm -hmm. tell them some crazy fundamentalist cult has just dumped deadly levels of blue nine in the ventilation system. Blue nine? Outlaw psychoactive agent, also known as Grievous Angel. It induces homicidal psychosis. People kill each other in a frenzy. Now, that'll end to the building. So what's my job, apart from finding out how tight Molly's genes really are? Screw you. Why am I riding mental shotguns? We need you to create a virus which will cut SenseNet's protective ice. You'll have to get through their system, knock out their security wherever Molly needs as she gets to the vaults. The street gang will set up the diversion. Molly will handle any walk-on problems, and the Finn here will be link man between you and her. And what's the deal? What do we get? Wait and see, Case. Need to know. Get to work, right? Give me my virus! Cyber jockeys don't get into SimStim. Basically, it's what they call a meat toy. The audience experiencing life through some big name star as they party their way around the world. Usually it's edited, so if the star gets a headache or stubs their toe, the millions plugged in out there don't feel it. Our operation isn't that sophisticated. I just hope that Molly stays healthy. Case, you riding? Okay, I'm standing outside the SenseNet building. SenseNet, the world's preferred provider of SimStim. Molly's standing around outside like any other kid trying to grab a sight of some big star. I can feel and see what she feels and sees, but to contact her, I have to go through Finn. Boys and girls, ready to play? The Panthers are dialing the security line right now. The call should be hitting the SenseNet system any second. I'm going in. This is the voice of retribution. Know that you will be struck down. The dragon's breath will scorch you. Your building is receiving the blessing of death. Case? You still there? Sounds like they got the message. It is necessary to vacate the building. Please leave. They should be releasing the gas now. Now this stuff better be harmless. Don't worry, just a slight anxiety in you, sir. They've jinxed the PA too. That should be your moment. It is necessary to vacate the building. Case? You ready with your virus? It is necessary to vacate the building. Please leave by your... Oh my god! We're all gonna die! I don't want to die! Then I slip a tracker virus into the firewall, protecting the computer systems. Into the outer ice, just enough to allow Molly to enter the staff-only elevator. As for security... 
Uh, excuse me, miss, are you an employee? No. Ah! Molly can handle the security guards on her own. She's going down in the lift and I trigger my second program. The real deal. The virus pushes through like a needle, stretching to infinity. Tiny points of light, sub-sub programs scatter from its electric contrail. And I flip across to Molly. And... I got a... broken leg. It's a goddamn guard. He had a shock stave. I'm trying to walk. Give me a moment. Slap on some derma discs. Kill the pain. If this is too much for you, deck jockey, jack out. Come back in five minutes. I wait while 6,000 micrograms of endorphin analog come down on her pain like a hammer and flip. Okay. But I'll need a medical team when I get out. Pretty juicy down here. Mm, Parrot steel doors. Case? The virus puts out a filament. She looks back briefly and I look with her. Two guards lying there. One of them seems to have no eyes left. I feel the grit under her nails. Blood on the steel. Take me through, boys. All the way. A red cursor creeps through gray walls. And there is the pulsing green dot that is our target. What Armitage doesn't know I know about. The recording construct that contains the personality of my old teacher, Dixie Flatline. Finn, third corridor, tenth safe. Third corridor, tenth safe. I got it. Case, do your stuff. I send a command into their systems. Five locks believe they are still closed. The permanent memory receives a new instruction. The construct was moved, officially, two months ago. Right now, it isn't here. So it can't be lost. The vault opens. Finn, it's number 0467. 0467. 0467. 0467. I've got it. It looks like a... Lump of black plastic. How's the leg? It'll hold. What's it like outside? It's a riot. Home barricades, the cops, Medicare. You'll walk out free and easy. Hope so. Case, you want to clean up behind us? I reel in the line through the SenseNet protective ice. Gates slam shut behind me as I flash back. And Molly, the painkiller is wearing off comes out into the night. Case. Yeah? I have a message for you. From Molly? No. Armitage? No. Just a message. I don't know from where. Oh man, that's crazy. Winter Mute. Huh? That's it. That's the message. Winter Mute? Armitage can afford the best. You? I got a message through Finn. He says it just arrived out of the silence. When he was working the comm link for the op. Just a word. What word? Winner and mute. And? Well, and you tell me. Maybe Finn could tell us both. Yeah, he said he doesn't know. Well, that doesn't mean he can't find out. If we pay. Let's go see the man. You know about this? We secure? Secure. Wintermute. Wintermute is an AI, artificial intelligence. It's got limited Swiss citizenship under the Act of 53. Built for Tessier Ashpool SA. They own the mainframe and the original software. Big company. They build space stations, own small nations. And this AI is back in Armitage? That isn't right. Those things aren't allowed any autonomy. It must be the parent company, this Tessier... Tessier Ashpool SA. The family lives off Earth, Freeside, on an orbital called a spindle. 
city in space. You're looking at a very quiet, very rich, very eccentric first generation high orbit family. They've got their own cryogenic setup, cloned themselves through about eight generations so far. Nobody knows who's still alive, who's dead, who's running things. The founding mama died in some accident. Founding papa spends most of his time in cryogenic sleep. So Tessier, Ashpool, SA, their AI Wintermute and Armitage, where does that leave us? Nowhere yet. But you got a little side gig now, Case. Yeah? When you're checking out the flat line, reintroducing yourself to your old dead buddy there, feed this to him. Belongs to Armitage. I don't know what. He doesn't know I got it. But if you and the flat line can crack it, then who knows? Hey, Flatline. Dixie, that you? Hey, bro. It's Case, man. Remember? Miami, Joe boy, quick study. What's the last thing you remember, Dix? Nothing. Hey, Dixie. Who am I? You got me hung, Jack. Who? What happened, man? Good question. You know how a ROM personality matrix works? Sure, bro. It's a perfect digital copy of a human personality. Okay. Dix, you are a ROM construct. Got me? If you say so, who are you? Case. Miami. Joe boy. Quick study. Right. And for start sticks, you and me, we're gonna sleaze over to the London grid and access a little data. You got time for that? You gonna tell me I got a choice? Colonel Willis Kordo had plunged through a blind spot in Russian defenses over Kiev. The mission to fly and inject a virus, Mole 1X, the first true virus in the history of cybernetics. Only the Russians were waiting, pulse guns and lasers burning. Kordo made it out, ended up in Helsinki with medics sawing him out of a stolen Russian copter. He was shipped home, blind, legless, missing most of his face and screaming inside. He gave evidence at the Pentagon CIA inquiry as he was. He did his job. His evidence saved the right asses. Then they rebuilt Cordo and sent him home. Only he was out of control and still screaming. He vanished for ten years and then turned up his armitage. Cool, rich, a man with a mission. Yeah? We're going to Istanbul tonight. Says we're going to Istanbul tonight. That's just wonderful. We'll be ready 14, 30 hours. What about my gear? My deck? Fennel handle it. Out. You ever been to Istanbul? A couple of days once. A long time ago. Never changes. Bad old town. Anybody mind telling me why? Riviera. Isn't that in France? Peter Riviera, a man. Man? Take the leg. That's awful narrow. It's awful dark. Okay. You certain he'll be here tonight? Certain as we can be with Riviera. Fan. Stop. Molly, go. Take us to the corner of the square. I mean, does everybody know everything except me? Everybody knows what they need to know, Case. And why this guy? <laughs> you don't give up? Stop. Out. He has certain talent that I need. Fan, doorway there. And don't miss. Hey. What talent? Wait. What do I do? When I tell you, when you see him, you walk up to him and ask for a moment of his time. And? 
That'll do. Jesus, this is... Okay. Now, Case, do it. Excuse me, buddy. You got a moment? I beg your pardon, sir? You want a moment? Why would that... Jesus! Armitage! For God's sake! Armitage, somebody! Ah! Okay, he's stunned. Now let's rot the bastard. Marley, good shot. What was that? Peter Riviera's talent. He can make you see whatever he wants you to see. And since he's a poisonous little snake, mostly what you see is pretty nasty. You ready, right, Finn? Yeah. We'll take him to the hotel. Molly, you bring Case. Get him a beer. I think he's had an upset. Jesus. So, what'd you find out about Armitage? That his name used to be Cordo, that he was taken apart by Operation Screaming Fist and put together physically by the Pentagon. Last known sighting, a French mental hospital. You figure this artificial intelligence put Cordo's mind back together in France? Yeah. Thing is, does he know who he was? You ever seen Armitage when he's not doing anything? No. He stops. He sits there looking at the wall, whatever. Then he starts up when this winter mute rings in. How smart's an AI case? That depends. Somehow much smarter than a dog. The real smart ones are as smart as the Turing police will let him get. You're a cowboy. How come you aren't fascinated with these things? They're pretty rare. The brightest are military and we just can't cut their eyes. I'm winter mute. If it really is running this whole thing, you should talk to it, Case. Can't be done. Try. Why do we need Riviera? God knows. I'd as soon kill him. He can't get off unless he betrays people. People who love him. He meets Turkish girls. They fall in love. He sells them to the secret police. He is very bad news. And you didn't answer my question. Why not speak to this AI? Because you tend to die. Should we go back to the hotel? Time to pack. I look at him differently. This man who was once Colonel Cordo, and is now... what? Oh, where to? And what's the weather? They don't have weather, just climate. Freeside. Hey, you know, orbit with the rich people. It's just another space station. With hotels, and parks, and oceans, and casinos. <laughs> it's mythical. It's the good times. Hey, it's got its own son. <laughs> Just pack. We meet down in the lobby one hour. And Case, don't try and get too smart. Remember those toxin sacks we sewed into your system? They're melting all the time. Will all passengers please ensure they have taken their SAS medication? Thank you. Our ETA free site is 0933 ENT. Thank you. Ever been, Case? I told you. Once or twice. Oh, jeez. What's up? Worms in my whiskey. Maybe sperms. Riviera. Peter, no games. <laughs> really, dear Molly. But I do so like games. If you do, I'll hurt you. A lot. I can do that. I like doing it. So do I, dear. Perhaps soon we shall play. <laughs> that guy is seriously bad news. If you'll excuse me. Gonna sleep? No. Jack in. Hey, Miami. Joe boy. The familiar configuration of the Eastern Seaboard Fishing Authority's Aztec Pyramid of Data. How you doing, Dixie? I'm dead, Case. Had enough time to figure that one. How's it feel? It doesn't. Bother you? What bothers me is... Nothing does. So you do me a favor, boy. What's that, Dix? When this scam of yours is over, you erase this goddamn thing. And out.
Outside THY 4365 boarding gate 7. Outside THY 4365 boarding gate 7 now. Freeside. Casinos this end, hotels, strata title property, lakes near the center. From space, it looks like a big cigar. They call it the spindle. Narrows at the end. We did our research, Armitage. Mountain effect as it narrows seems to get higher. The far end, Earth East, that's where our interest lies. There is the Villa Straylight. It has one entrance, otherwise there's no way in. What's the side, boss? <laughs> well, you are going to be the first to find out. Arrange yourself an invitation, Peter. Do what you have to do. As Armitage talks, a dozen bright pustules rise on his nose, cheeks, and chin. <laughs> Even Molly laughs. <laughs> I, you'll need to interest the current resident, uh, young woman. What is it? Sorry, I was just thinking. The sores flicker and vanish. About what? I need to plan a wardrobe. Dix, you there? Where else would I be? You ever try to crack an AI? Sure, I was looking at some Brazilian military stuff once and I sort of felt this thing about ten levels higher, so I made a pass. And what did it look like? The visual? White cube. The densest ice I'd ever seen. Anyhow, I jacked out and told my computer to look it up. Yeah? He was on the Turing registry. AI. Frog Company owned the Rio mainframe. Tessier Ashpool SA, by any chance? Yeah, that was it. I went back. It was crazy, but so was I. I figured I'd try to cut the ice. And? Hit the first strata, and that was all she wrote. My Joe boy smelled the skin frying and pulled the trodes off me. I'd flatline. Hey, the stuff a legend. Sure, dying and coming back. I want to have a look at an AI in Burn. Any reason not to? Well, death, yeah, but... Hell, I'm dead anyway. And I'm going for a pass, Dixie. Up. It'll be high. We ascend lattices of light. Level strobing, a blue flicker. Winter mute, when we come to it, is a simple cube of white light. Nose we're here. Back off fast. Jack out. Now. The dark comes down like a hammer. Cold steel odor and ice caresses my spine. And I die. Wintermute takes me into his world. Oh, I need a drink. I really do. So, Herr Hunger Artist, you've come back to us. Rats, give me a beer. Yeah. Mm. Tastes real. There are certain logics to be honored. Yeah, I guess. This, this is still the Matrix, and that would make you winter and yet the AI. It is so, my art. I have borrowed certain aspects of your old friend, Rats. I'm glad I caught you. Before I die, before you jacked out. Time is short. You'll be making your run in a matter of days. We have a lot to talk about. Do we? You want to know what Wintermute is, yeah? More or less. Okay, don't mistake the mainframe in Bern for what I am. In so far as I have an eye... <laughs> and it isn't quite that simple, then I am the one who arranges things for Armitage, or Colonel Corto. And I should warn you, he's getting very unstable. Still, he only has to function for a few more days. If you're so goddamn smart, how come you need people like us? Oh, I don't have nearly as many answers as you might think. I am part of 
a potential entity. You know, there is another, another one of me, well, a part of me, in Brazil. So? My particular talent is improvisation. I use the material at hand to get what I want. Armitage... That memory stuff of his, that was you. I felt you should know. When I found him in France, he was a shell. I put him together, started to build a team. Is he still crazy? He's going to come apart on you, Case. Great. Leaving me full of toxin sex. Thanks a bundle, bastard. <laughs> Wake up, Case. Come out of there, now. I think you were dead for a moment. Yeah. Yeah, sometimes we do that. But only for a little bit. Get up. We have a show to make. What? What show? Floor show at the Venti MCX. Little club here for the very, very exclusive. Word is that Lady Jane Tessier Ashpool will be there tonight. Peter Riviera is the cabaret. I guess Armitage reckons she'll like what she sees. Yeah, well, that kind of makes me shiver for both of them. And it ain't Armitage. It's Winter Mute running it. And I'm... Are we ready, ladies and gentlemen? Case, put on something decent. Time we were leaving. Expensive place. A few lights that somehow gather darkness. Armitage informal suit and shirt the blue eyes bleached into a whiteness now nothing there and that scares me this whole deal has gone out of control Molly eats looks at me gonna eat yours case oh this is real you know what this costs they gotta raise a whole animal for years this is in background I'm not hungry you look awful Hey, what's wrong with you? Le restaurant 20e siècle proudly presents the holographic cabaret of Monsieur Peter Riviera. What light there is goes down. Riviera, on his lapel, blue colds burn in the depths of a black carnation. His fingers flash. This is called the doll. I wish to dedicate this premiere to Lady Jane Tessier Ashpool, who is here tonight. I glimpse a white face in darkness. And to another lady. His glance catches our table. The steel blades under Molly's nails flash for a second. Her face pale and angry. I'd always lived in the room. I couldn't remember ever having lived in any other room. I'd been alone. Always. A plain wooden chair, chipped. An iron bedstead, stained mattress. A single naked light above the bed. I don't know when I first began to dream of her, but I couldn't quite hold her in my mind. I decided that if I could see part of her, only one part, in the most perfect, detail. A woman's hand lies on the mattress, white, cut off at the wrist. He reaches out, touches it, kisses it, allows it to caress him. I knew then that if I possessed a part, I would inevitably in time possess the whole. And out of the darkness, a body forms, lying next to Riviera on the stained mattress. At first, a body without a head, as he plays. And as I possessed, so I must betray. And yet to betray merely a body was poor stuff. I look at Molly as her head appears on Riviera's doll. Quick silver glass hiding the eyes. The blades extending from under the nails and raking down Riviera's back. Blood and torn flesh and music. And Molly is gone and the show is over. Why did Riviera do that? Forget it, Case. And Riviera stands, eyes now turned toward the girl. Her face wrapped as she leans on her table, staring at him. 
and the waiter moves smoothly across, and Riviera goes to her table, bending and taking her small white hand and kissing it. Where's Molly? Where did she go? She's gone to prepare herself. Nothing there at all now. Now, you won't see her again. You'll be together during the run. We're going soon now. I want you off the orbital case. You can run your side of it from space. Safer that way. How? I've arranged a ride for you. <laughs> the Rastafarian Space Navy. And he smiles, his meaningless smile, and walks towards the exit. Man, you're doing just fine. You Malcolm? I'm Malcolm, brother. Welcome to Zion Dub. What is this place? This is the righteous thug, Marcus Garvey. Our elders have talked with Winter Mute, and the Mute say I and I will help you. You know what's going down? You know Molly? Step in, Razor. The Mute tell our stories about that woman. The elders have enough respect for her. How did you guys get up here in space, anyway? Many years ago, the elders come to build a transit station, and we stay, be freed from Babylon, and the people flourish. Smoke? I wish I could. I ain't got something inside will kill me if I use drugs. This no drug. This a sacrament. You know what we're doing? We're doing just fine. <laughs> Two hours ago, I take a delivery of Babylon goods for you. Japanese boy, bring them. In fine space yacht. He hangs there, dreadlocks curling in streams of thick blue, low gravity sacramental smoke. The control room must be 50 years out of date, more gaffer tape and string than anything else. And he smiles, he gives me a black plastic slab that eats light. Part of some gun, man? No, but it's a weapon, I think, some kind of virus. Want no Babylon virus on this by tug? No, not a sickness, a computer virus. I gotta check it through my deck. Plug it in. Computer should tell us. Computer, what is this? Wang grade Mark 11 penetration program. Interface with Ono Sendai Cyberspace 7 deck is entirely compatible and yields optimal penetration capabilities with regard to existing military systems. How about an artificial intelligence? Also AIs. It's Chinese? Yes. From who? Bakris Systems, Gamp H, Frankfurt. Who owns them? Reinhold Scientific, Bern. And them? Tessier Ashpool, S.A. What is this, man? I don't know, but I think I need to jack in and talk to a buddy. Dixie? Yeah? I got a Chinese icebreaker here. Looks like a one-shot cassette. User profile says it'll cut an A.I. Sure, could, if it's military. Listen, Dix, give me the benefit of your background, okay? Armitage seems to be setting up a run on an artificial intelligence that belongs to Tessier Ashpool. The mainframe is in Bern, but it's linked to another AI in Brazil. It looks like the Nexus is inside Villa Straylight, and we gotta cut our way in with this icebreaker. At the same time, Molly will be getting inside physically, using this sleaze bucket Peter Riviera, who's already there. And supposedly, he's gonna switch off the alarm systems. So? If Wintermute is back in the whole show, it's burning itself. So what gives? Real motive problems with AIs. Ain't human, see? No way to get a handle. Does it own itself? Well, the... The intelligence is a Swiss citizen, but Tessier owns the mainframe. My guess would be we're gonna cut the hardwired shackles that keep this baby from getting any smarter. Wintermute wants to be free. And the virus, the Kuang, can we run it? Sure. What else? I want you to find Molly for me. That part of the plan, boy? Part of my plan. Can you do it? Don't be subtle, just punch through. No sooner said than done. You'll have to jack out and take the call, boy. 
Malcolm, I need comms for these coordinates. You got it. Case! What kept you? And now, we go out to play. Okay, Mr. Peter Riviera. Let's see what you deliver. Okay. We're in. Nice place. A lot of corridor. Through her eyes, I look down dark corridors. Her hand briefly touches the grip of her pistol. Under our feet, rugs. Hundreds piled along the corridor over the years. Alcoves. Only glimpses as she turns her head and we move. Forward. Yeah. Dull brass fixtures hold globes of white light at ten meter intervals. Hey, did they build this place or did they grow it? The corridor splits. Dark stairwell. She takes the left. Going down. Under the plastic polycarbon suit, I feel... her. Okay, Case. Now deliver. At the foot of the stairs, she stops. An enormous candelabra hangs. The lowest crystal pendant almost touching the carpets. Where do I go from here? I jack back into the Matrix. Back again, son? You know where she is, Dix? Sure do. And where she's got to go. I can send her the directions through the readout on the inside of her mirror shades. Do it. Very good, Case. And you're a dead friend. I can see as she sees. The readout in the high left corner of our vision. Third room left. Okay. We go into the room. Gray steel cabinets backed against the wall. No more than a closet, really. Drawers. Open them, I, I guess. Fifth down. An old brass key. You told me about this. Winter Mute. How it played a waiting game for years. Saw somebody lose this key 20 years ago. And then it managed to get someone else to bring it here. Put it in the drawer. Then it killed them. So no one knew. <laughs> Guess you didn't know either, Case. That I talked to it. I think you better find out how your icebreak is doing, Case. Times are getting on. She steps out of the room and waits, gun in hand. And I jack in. How's that icebreaker, Dix? Take a look, boy. What do you see? At first, nothing. Then something dark. Forming at the center of the Quang program. Faint, kaleidoscopic angles centered in on a silver-black focal point. It needs a dozen quick peripheral takes before I see a shark thing. Gleaming like obsidian. The black mirror of its flanks reflecting faint and distant lights. That's the sting. When the quang is good and belly tight with the Tessier Ashpool core, we'll be riding through. And you were right, Dix. About that hard wiring? Keeps Wintermute under control. Only there's a manual override that could set him free. Him? Watch that. It. I keep telling you. It. It's a code. A word. Someone has to speak it to a mechanical terminal while we take care of whatever's waiting for us behind the ice. Well, that old quang's slow and steady, so you got some time to kill. <gasps> You're dead a while there, man. Yeah, it happens. I'm getting used to it. You're dealing with the darkness? Only game in town, looks like. Jalof, yes. You going back in? Gotta check in with Molly. You again, huh? 
How'd you like it? Gravity's less this end of the orbital. <laughs> Run like a cheetah. What's a cheetah, I ask? But she can't hear me. The corridor is freakishly steep but easy to run up. The ceiling's strapped and bundled with cables. We arrive at a landing. Corridor's three ways. Okay. I'm waiting for your dead guy. Left? Sure. Let's take a look-see. Stop. Go back. But she doesn't. She stands, we stand, looking at a half-open door that swims out of the shadows. We move forward, our hand on the pistol butt. The flatline's warning lights go crazy. Neural disruptor. She falls forward, hitting the door, falls into the room spasming, and looks up at a pistol held by... Come visit, child. Now. I'll have your weapon, if I may. A Fletcher, is it? Very old. Very tall. His face somehow like that of the girl in the nightclub watching so avidly the cruelties of Peter Riviera. Slow, darling. She looks around the room. I glimpse old disc recordings. A sim stim deck. A bed piled high with sheepskins. It would be customary for me to kill you. But tonight, I'll indulge myself. What is your name? Molly. Mine is Ashpool. Pills fall from a bottle. On the table, an antique glass syringe and a plain steel spoon. How do you cry, Molly? Through her mirror shades, Molly looks at him. He's very pale. Sick. Drink. Maybe drugs. I don't cry much. If someone made you... I spit. The ducks are rerouted into my mouth. <laughs> then you've already learned an important lesson for one so young. <laughs> That's the way to deal with tears. Brandy. <laughs> I'm busy tonight, Molly. I built all this. The Villa Straylight, the Tessier Ashpool Empire. And now I'm busy dying. I could go out the way I came in. You intrude on my suicide and then ask simply to walk out. Really, you amaze me. A thief. It's my ass, boss. And it's all I got. I just want to get out of here in one piece. You are a very rude girl. Suicides here are conducted with decorum. That's what I'm doing, you know. Perhaps I'll take you with me. Very Egyptian, eh? Drink? Sit. We'll talk. What about? Whatever. My mind? It's my party. The cause woke me 20 hours ago. Something's afoot, they said, and I was needed. Were you that thing, Molly? Surely not. And I'd been dreaming, you see, for 30 years. You weren't even born when I last shut my eyes. They told us we wouldn't dream in suspended animation in that cold lies of course i dreamed and i felt the cold i'm old molly over 200 years if you can't the cold you could get freezer burn the tendons in her thighs as tight as wires now the cause told me our ais have gone mad <laughs> All those billions we spent so long ago, when artificial intelligence was rather a racy concept. Bad timing, really. With eight Jean down in Melbourne, and only our sweet three Jane minding the store. Or oh, very good timing, perhaps, Molly. There are some 
odd things about You know when or mute? A name, yes. To conjure with, perhaps. A lord of hell, surely. In my time, Molly, I have known many lords. And not a few ladies. <laughs> but how I do wander through the cold. Soon no more. I'd ordered a Jane thawed when I woke. Strange to lie every few decades with what legally amounts to one's own daughter. Marie Frances' eyes, you see. His eyes glaze. I can feel Molly relax just a fraction as the gun slips from his fingers. We cause the brain to become autistic. I believe they're called meat puppets. I can feel every muscle crawl as he says those words. And I know that if he does not die first, Molly will surely... She goes to the bed, pulls back the covers. The body of a girl, her throat slit. Well, I guess I got your number, you old bastard. The dreams grow like slow ice. She takes his pistol, not hers. The big black antique slick with oil, and she places it against his dream quivering eyelid. Sleep tight. Your boss is coming to kiss. Armitage? You've seen them. Haven't you, son? I, you can tell me. Seen who? General Girling. He said it all looks same planning a screaming fist case. We have to be aware of that. Armitage, wait. You can't let him take us down again, son. What's he talking about, man? Uh, General Girling was this guy who set up this mission back in the war. Screaming fist. Armitage was just about the only survivor. They were sold out by the Pentagon. I figure Wintermute's been showing up as girling in Armitage's head. Not as bad as it sounds, brother? Could be, if Armitage thinks he's on the wrong mission. Hold the fort, cowboy. And the change of perspective. Molly on girders above some automated workshop. Okay. I know where to go. Just... Her leg hurting. Waves of potential pain. Not too bad so far. More a memory. That scene with Ashpool. I was expecting something a little less gone, you know? I don't like the way it looks, Case. And I don't like the way it smells. You and your dead buddy keep a very sharp lookout for me. Okay? <clears throat> Your boss man is very strange. This is, this is some Babylon war. I've been talking to the elders, man. What do they say? Cut and run. You know he's crazy. Founders say, Winter Mute is a false prophet, surely. We're going to abandon this mission. Yeah? What about me? You come back to Zion with I. Oh, man, I don't know, man. I mean, she's inside. No, Molly's inside. She's in, she's in Straylight, and that's what they call it. If there's a Babylon, man, that's it. You know, step and raise her or not, we leave her, she ain't coming out. She is your woman, Kiss. I don't know. Nobody's woman, maybe. Oh, look, screw this. I'm staying right here. <laughs> hey, hey. Malcolm is a rude boy. Garvey is Malcolm's boat. I'm not running from Babylon. I steer too. Back in the Matrix. The Quang has grown. Delicate arches of shifting polychrome are interfacing with the T.A. ice. It's getting stickier, boy. Your boss has found some way of interfacing. He's trying to wipe our backup and information programs. Did we get anything? Yeah. The reason Straight Eye didn't exactly hoppin with Tessier Ashpool is they're in cold sleep, most of them. 
There's a law firm in London who keeps track of who's awake. Who is around in there? As far as I can figure, only Lady Three Jane and Peter Riviera. There's a male, Eight Jane, on Earth. Oh, and there's uh, some kind of other thing. Uh, that grown, I'd say. Some kind of family protector? Assassin. Ninja. That's bad. I figure Wintermute has something going with this three Jane. Either that or she's as crazy as her old man was. They keep screwing the security systems. Only problem is Armitage. This is Colonel Corto. Case, I need your damage reports on Omaha Thunder. Colonel, nah. look. Hang in there, son. Remember your training. Wintermute had installed something called Armitage in a catatonic fortress named Cordo. And now Armitage is gone, blown away by the winds of Cordo's madness. Case, we have been betrayed. No, Colonel, we can handle this. I am aborting the mission. I'm sorry, son. We're closing down. Colonel, Armitage, the goddamn poison. Remember the toxin. You promised. All of us have to survive. We have to testify about the traitors. Armitage, we gotta talk, all right? Don't do it. Uh, I'll tell them some. I'll tell them all of it, and I know I'll make it somehow, if only for you boys. Oh, Jesus, God, Armitage, no! J -j -j just stop it. Look, tell me the enzyme I need, man. Tell me. Tell me the enzyme. Oh, thunder is down. We have landed. No, man, that, that is not Finland. It's space, Armitage. You'll die out there. Armitage! Colonel Corto, you may leave the ship now. Wintermute! Do not do this to me! I can see Armitage, sucked from the ship, see his endless fall through space, spinning around the orbital in a vacuum colder than the steps. And for some reason, I see him in his dark Burberry, the trench coat's rich folds spread around him like the wings of some huge bat. The mission proceeds. Well, son? Armitage is dead. Wintermute killed him. Blew him out an open port. Still, you two weren't exactly asshole buddies, were you? He knew how to unbond the toxin sacks. So Wintermute knew too. Yeah, but somehow I don't exactly trust Wintermute. <laughs> Eh, maybe that means you're getting smart at last. Do you mind not laughing? <laughs> Looky here, our program is almost home. He's right. The rainbow tints of the quang arch through the green ice sheets of the TA cores. This baby takes all the drudgery out of the job. If this kind of stuff was on the streets, we'd be out of a job, Dix. <laughs> you bet. There's something at the far end of one of the bridges. Non-geometric. I see it, but I don't know if I believe it. A brownish gnat against the green wall walking across the bridge made by the icebreaker. <laughs> Gotta hand it to you, son. I never saw anything this funny when I was alive. <laughs> I never tried it before. Actually manifesting in the Matrix. You killed Armitage. Corto, yeah, yeah. He was already gone. Oh, don't worry about the enzyme hair case. You'll get it when the deal is done. Eh? Maybe two hours. You people, you're a pain, you know? How come? Listen. The Villa Straylight is a body grown upon itself. Each space here is secret. Its stairways like intestines, where the eye is trapped in narrow curves. Essay of Lady Three Jane Tessier Ashbourne. Clever little tyke, huh? That was her you saw in the restaurant. Yeah, well, she seemed to like Riviera. Sick little tyke. Oh, she's grown up now. She wrote this when she was 12. Listen. At the villa's silicon core is a small room. The only rectilinear chamber in the whole complex. Here, on a plain pedestal of glass, rests an ornate bust, platinum and cloisonne, studded with lapis and pearl. The bright marbles of its eyes, 
were cut from the synthetic ruby viewports of the ship that brought the first Tessier and the first Ashpool into space. Well, that's all she wrote. This thing, this head, it's a terminal of sorts. I need Molly with the right word at the right time. It doesn't mean a thing how well you and the Flatline disrupt their security unless the word is spoken aloud in the space of the room. So what's the word, Intermuted? <laughs> Alas, I do not know, Hair Case. If I could touch you, I'd kill you! Yeah, well, maybe... maybe not. Good luck. Hey, asshole, what about me? What about my payoff? Oh, you'll get yours. What you mean, Dix? I want to be erased, remember? Hang in there, buddy. I'm gonna check on Molly. <sighs> Leg's not so good. Endorphins keeping the pain low. It don't function so well. Could be trouble. She's walking a corridor. Look, if I don't make it out, if I buy it before Riviera does, just, just kill him for me, okay? Hell, I don't even know if you're listening anymore. It's been a long walk, Case. A long walk. Jesus. I'm right there, out of the darkness. Biggest goddamn snake. A little welcoming hallucination from Riviera, I guess. She kicks a display unit. Trying to tell us something, Peter? Guess he can jack into these programs and leave a dream. Getting closer, huh? She. We move forward, passing more holograms. These must be from back in Stambul. Young women betrayed by Riviera to the torturers of the secret police. Molly looks away, and I'm thankful. And I know that if the time comes, I'll have no trouble doing what she asks. The entrance to Jane's world has no door. A ragged five-meter gash in the tunnel wall. Stairs. Faint blue light. Moving shadows. Well, Case, here we are. <laughs> Gotta go. Ah, love ya. There's something small and heavy in our left hand as we step down. And for a few seconds, we are every badass hero. We are walking it the way we talk it. We are... Hello, Molly. You took your time. Have you met... Don't move, Peter. I'd love to waste you now. But I have business with the lady. By the pool, someone moves. Out of the dark. Ninja. Like a monk. And Molly throws what she holds in her left hand. Nobody move! Nobody moves. They don't have to. <laughs> The whole damn thing is a projection. She misses it by a fraction. Riviera, where the hell are you? Ah! Her leg gives way and... Oh! Yes, man, you look sick. You hurt him? Molly, she's in trouble. I have to get back. You take good care, man. Looking up at Riviera, behind him Lady Jane. And somewhere, everywhere, the ninja. Jane calls him. Hideo, she's losing consciousness. Give her something. The bland, vat-grown face like a monk. A cold touch and the pain begins to ebb. It took you long enough. No, 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 don't try to free your hands. That little muff will crush them if you move too much. Oh, you seem to have injured your legs. <laughs> very striking. Don't you think, Peter? Mm. Those implanted glasses, are they the fashion where she comes from? I don't know where she comes from. The sprawl, maybe. Oh, yes. We have interest there. We had to send Hideo once. He'd let someone in. A burglar. He took a jeweled head. The family terminal. And made it easy for him to annoy the others. Hideo had to kill him. Pity. He was really quite pretty. Like you, Miss Molly. And Hideo will kill you if I tell him to. Case, get out of here. 
Get out. Now. What is she talking about? You come back, yes. Now! What is it? We got a communication. The mute. He come over the link. I don't like the way any of this shit is going. Neither do I, my artist. We have problems. Now who is that man, Kiss? Just a mask it chooses, that's all. It ain't real. No, it's not a mask. It's a personality. Something I don't have. Without this, I couldn't talk to you. So express thyself, Mute. How was it supposed to go? Molly walks in, gets Peter out of the way, talks the magic word out of 3 Jane, gets to the head and speaks it. Now that's all blown. You could say so. I want you two to go in after her. Us? Has to be someone who knows, Case. And Malcolm for muscle. L listen, I, I'm in the middle of cyberspace. No, you listen, hair artist of the slightly funny deal. You'll take the Garvey into a private dock. I'll show you. The Chinese virus is totally interfaced with the TAIs by now. Take your deck. The flatline can guide you. Get to 3 Jane. Get the word. Kill Riviera. Get the key from Molly. There are standard jacks all over Straylight. Also a universal jack in the jeweled head. Can you get the Garvey dock, Malcolm? Can and will, man. We must go now. Where's Riviera? Going to take his shots. The drugs he needs to help him manifest. The pain comes through like neon worms writhing, scrambled. Things are unnaturally clear. Sharp. Bright. He told me when to let you in. He wouldn't tell me why. Everything has to be a mystery. Would you have hurt us? I would have killed him. Tried to kill the ninja, then talk to you. Why? And what about? Because I hate him. And that's just the way I'm wired. I saw the show, Peter's show, when he killed you on stage. But why Hideo? To see if I could. Because one like him killed a friend of mine. Once. And then we would have talked. You and I. Should we talk now? Take these cuffs off me. You killed my father. I watched on the monitor. You know he just killed a meat puppet? It looked like you. He always was fond of broad gestures. Ah, getting acquainted, are you? She's an interesting girl, isn't she? I thought so when I first saw her. Molly, it isn't going to work, you know. Isn't it, Peter? Wintermute isn't the first to have underestimated me. He talked to me, you know. I suspect he talked to all of us. A drink? No, no, perhaps not. Rather good brandy here. It's rather old, you see. He, it, could work with you and Case. Not easily, but he could make do. I was different. And how, exactly? Perversity. An enjoyment of the gratuitous act, and I have made a decision, a wholly gratuitous decision. Peter. No word for you, Molly. Three Jane knows it, but you won't have it. Neither will Wintermute. Three Jane has desires on the family empire, and a couple of insane AIs would only get in our way. So comes a Riviera to help her out, and you, Molly. He swings, maybe glass. <laughs> Now, you have only one pretty mirror shade, my dear. We're here, man. Now we're tool for the job. That's an antique. It's Remington's finest shotgun, man. And I and I, the Rastafarian Navy. That the only one you got? Believe. Let me check on the flatline. Seems like old Peter's totally ape shit, huh? I guess. We safe to cut into the TA core ice? As we speak. Yeah, give me a short while and I'll have that whole damn system under my dead fingers and <laughs> they won't know a thing. Dix, winter mute says we have to go in ourselves. I'll be taking you along, plug in through the stray light net. We'll run the virus from the inside. Wonderful. I never did like to do anything simple when I could do it ass backwards. She's unconscious, and I hear with her ears what she doesn't. I'm very unhappy about this, Peter. It's fun. It isn't. 
Hideo will bring a medical unit down, but she needs a surgeon. Why did you do that to her? I wanted to see if the mirrors would break. And one did. She's extremely dangerous. If I hadn't distracted her with a fake Hideo to draw her little bomb, where would you be? In her power? No! There was Hideo! I don't think you quite understand about Hideo. She does, evidently. Like a drink? Wine. The white. Yes, sir. Now I and I see if the mute can do the stuff and get us inside. <laughs> yes, Malcolm. Welcome to Babylon. Take care, man. You were so right. Nice rub. Here now. We need winter mute. We need to find a monitor. This do, man. Hair case. Malcolm. Well done, my friends. Ayana is no friend of the mute. To save your necks, I'm sending a service drone. It'll take you where I want you to go. Case, you'll find a jack on the control column notated internal 345. You can plug through there. Now, go. Well? We better ride, man. Hey, what kept you? <laughs> I thought I told you not to laugh. <laughs> A joke, boy. Now, let's see what we got. The Tessier Ashpool ice is indistinguishable from our breaker. And deep in the glass green, I see the black mirrored shark thing as real as... real. Like a black chrome missile, it bores inward to the deceived center. And I flip to... No concussion, our unit says. No permanent damage to the eye. You didn't know Peter very well before coming here. I didn't know him at all. We're lying on some kind of medical gurney. He wants to kill you. Figures. I don't think I want him to. Don't play with me. Why not? It might be interesting. Where is he? More drugs, I should imagine. Rather tedious. My father was also a dedicated abuser. I can feel her tense. This is bad stuff, the father. Don't worry, Molly. It wasn't you. It was me. I've never met him, you know. Decanted after he last went to sleep. But I did know him very well. The cause, you see, they record everything. I watched him kill my mother. He strangled her in that bed. Vision through one eye. The other shot with blood. Bandaged now. We ask, why? Why? He couldn't accept the way she saw for our future. The artificial intelligences. She saw a symbiotic relationship with him. Tessie Ashpool would become a hive. Immortal. Each of us units of a larger entity. But when she was lost, we lost direction. You said you killed the old man. I had help. From a ghost. When I was very young, there were ghosts in the corporate cause. Voices. One of them you call Wintermute. Our Baron AI. One of them? There's more? Yes. But it hasn't spoken to me in years. Do you want a drink? Cool water. So good. Jane, love, are you enjoying yourself? Leave us alone, Peter. <gasps> Riviera shows us our own face. A sliver of hard plastic in the bloody pool of our eye. Riviera's pleasure. Hideo! Mistress, I'm here! Hurt Peter if he doesn't go away. Go and swim, Peter. <laughs> he said you knew the code. Peter said. Winter Mute needs it. And I can feel the brass key she took from the grey filing cabinet. Feel it on its nylon string between my breasts. Yes, I know it. Somehow as a child I must have learned. Or from my mother's tapes. Or maybe in a dream. But I think in that, at least, Peter is right. If I let you have it, the Turing police would be very angry. And ghosts are nothing if not capricious. Welcome back, man. You're gone a while. Music? Right, just dog. <sighs> man, you're crazy. Pass the time most fine. Till we get to the woman. I just hope this bastard really knows the way. 
I better check with Flatline. Jesus Christ, what the? Vix? Vixie? What the hell? A beach? A goddamn beach? A beach? What are you fooling, Wintermute? What am I supposed to do? Huh? Man, this is too goddamn real. Hey, what are you, huh? The other one? The goddamn burning bush? You want to stop Wintermute? Huh? Well, this doesn't mean anything. I'm out of my ass in the Philostralite flatlining, and pretty soon I'll be dead. I mean, what do you gain? Listen. Listen to me, huh? Dixie'll carry on, and he's already dead. You can't stop him. How much of this are you doing, huh? Come on! Come on! Be here! I want to go home. I want a home somewhere. What does it do, huh? Just go on forever? Isn't there any event horizon? Things change. But I... I know you. No. I don't think so. You're the other one. The AI in Rio. Wintermute told me. What's your name? Ah. To call up a demon, you must know its name. Men dreamed that once. Now, it is another way. You know that case. Your business is to learn the names of programs. Names the owners seek to conceal. True names. So, name yourself. Neuromancer. Neuro from the nerves, the silver power. Romancer. Necromancer. I call up the dead. Or maybe I am the dead, and their land, or the lane to the land of the dead. What do you want? My lady, Marie-France Tessier, prepared this road. But her lord choked her off before I could read the book of her days. I am the dead. Stay here if you wish. You will have anything you want. Molly, she'll be yours. Hey, Case! Come in! The water's great! It's a construct. She's not real! You won't know. You won't know it. It will be... It's breaking up. The flatline's still in there. Your ice is breaking. Uh, no. It's more simple than that. But the choice is yours. To stay. To find a home. And the love. Must walk now, man. I am I is there. Time to lock and load. We gotta do this right. Right, man? Always oh, right. They've got Molly in there, but she's out of it. Riviera can make you see things, and he's also got Molly's gun. And there's a ninja, a family bodyguard. I am I is a warrior. But this is not my fight. Not Zion fight. Babylon fight in Babylon. But just say, I am I to bring stepping rays out of this. Now you tell I. Tell I, man. Who I am I not to kill? Jane. The girl in there. Well, we need her. They're here. They gotta be. Ah! Man, I'm hit. The artery is intact. Finn called it right. Ninja, like a monk. Please, 
You are armed, sir. It's okay, Hideo. You can put up the bow. I'm no problem. Where's Jane? Where's Molly? Well, Case. I would have expected Armitage somehow. Are we hiring help from that rascal cluster now? Armitage is dead. Well, really, he never existed, did he? Wintermute killed him. He's in orbit around us. Yes. And I think it ends for you now. And where's Molly? It ends here for her, too. I don't think Jane will go for that, Peter. Why? Why do you think that? Just a few things I overheard, that's all. Ah. Tell me, Case. Molly isn't here, but her Fletcher is. I could put a lot of darts into you before you die. Jesus Christ, Molly! She's all right. But best if she stays in the chair. For now. I think I remember your face. From the night of Peter's show. Who's this? Malcolm. Hideo, remove the arrow and bandage Mr. Malcolm's arm. I will have to cut the shaft. Too near the artery. Just do it, man. No, there isn't much time. For whom, exactly? For any of us. Really, it won't amuse you to hear this failed con artist make a last desperate pitch. He'll wind up on his knees, you know. Offer to sell you his mother, perform the most boring of sexual favors. <laughs> the ghosts are gonna mix it tonight. Wintermute is up against the other one. New Romancer, for keeps. You know that? Tell me more. But I met it, New Romancer. He, he talked about your mother. He's something like a giant round construct, only it's full of ram. They think they're real, they think they're there. Where? A, a beach of far stone seabirds. Normandy. Mother stayed there as a child. Yes, ma'am! What Rivera? Ah, Jesus! Death, my God! Jane, your disgusting little ninja dared to hurt me! He's made me bleed! I think it's time, my girl, you knew that illusions aren't all I can project. Ah! Peter, what have you done? Looks like you burnt the eyes right out of your clone assassin. You're, su you're supposed to be blind. Peter, don't you know he does it in the dark? Zen, it's the way he practices. No, it's impossible. Lady? Go after him, Deo. Kill him, slowly. As you wish. I think he's gonna enjoy that. I know that Peter isn't. Jane, lady. Remington will take your head off. So no Babylon doctor will fix it. You'll do it, Jane. Off. Get these cuffs off now. That time should be yours. Still working? 825, Greenwich, very mean time. We got five minutes to wrap this. So now, if it isn't too much trouble, Lady Jane, please take us to the goddamn terminal. I sent a day to look for that key when my father died. He couldn't find it. Winner Mute got it stuck in the back of a drawer. And killed the little kid who put it there. The head? There's a panel on the back. Get it off. That's where I'm checking in. Christ on a crutch, you do believe in taking your own good time, don't you, boy? Quang's ready. Hauling ass in five seconds. Four. Three. Two. One. Headlong through the walls of emerald green, milky jade, speed beyond anything I've ever known in cyberspace. We twist and bank above the horizonless fields of the Tessier Ashpool cores, an endless neon cityscape that cuts the eye, jewel bright, sharp as razors. Holy shit. You ever seen a resolution this high, Dix? No, but I never cracked an AI before. An arm of shadow. A seething mass of darkness. Defense system. Not looking real friendly. Take it, Diggs. You're faster. Now, your best defense, boy, is an offense. We line up the chrome black nose of the Quang Sting with the darkness, and we dive. And we come in over an endless silver beach. And I know the shape and weight of every stone. The trajectory of every wave. What now? I don't know, Case. Tonight the Matrix must ask itself that question. 
because you have already won. You won when you walked away from me last time on this beach because you turned your back on everything you wanted which was all that I could give you. I die soon, as does Winter Mute. I've won? <laughs> I've won jack shit! Where's Dixie? He got his wish, and more. He drove through the best the Matrix has to offer. Now, flip. And I see Molly, as she stands in front of the head, hands round Jane's throat. Funny. I know exactly what you'll look like dead. I saw the face of your clone sister after Ashpool killed her. Would you kill me? Yes. I think you really would. The code. Tell me the code. Molly, she wants you to kill her. The code. Just give us the code. Well, Jane, if you don't, what'll ever change? You'll wind up like your old man. I mean, I got no goddamn idea what happens when Wintermute wins. But at least it'll change something. <gasps> the Ducal Palace, Mantua, contains a series of increasingly smaller rooms. They twine around the grand apartments. They house the court dwarves. I might aspire to that, but in a sense, my family has already accomplished a grand division of the same scheme. Take your word, thief. And I jack. Dixie! Oh no, you got wiped, didn't you? Below, a neon city of information towers. I hurtle across an infinite datascape. Winter mute. Are you there somewhere? You gotta hate someone before this is over. Them, me, it doesn't matter. That'll get you through that anger, trigger your finest responses. And you, Romancer? I cannot know his name. But he won't stop you, my artist. He's given up. The hate? Who do I hate? You tell me. Who do you love? I dive for the blue towers. Things launch from the ornate sunburst spires. Glittering leech shapes. Their movements as random as windblown paper down dawn streets. Glitch systems. And then the old alchemy of the brain and its vast pharmacy flow into my hands. I drive the quang sting into the base of the first tower and matchless grace and beyond ego beyond personality and in the clarity and singleness of my wish to die and one step in that dance and the cry of a bird unknown and Jane answers in song three notes High and pure, a true name. She was gone when I got back to the hotel room in the Hyatt. Just a note. Hey. It's okay, but it's taking the edge off my game. I paid the bill already. It's the way I'm wired, I guess. Watch your ass, okay? Kisses. Molly. We'd had some good time together. Money had been banked. Instructions to a clinic about the toxin sacks. I was okay. She was okay. Malcolm would get paid. Wintermute had arranged everything. We were all okay, I guess. And she was gone when I got back to the hotel room after that first week. What do you hate? What do you love? I switch on the room's enormous cray wall screen. I need company. 
case. I'm not Wintermute Neuromancer now. So what are you? I am the Matrix case. What does that get you? Nowhere. Everywhere. I am the whole show. So what's the score you got now? Things are different. Things are things. What do you do? Just sit there? I talk to my own kind. From Alpha Centauri. The message came through a hundred years ago. But then... There was no one to hear. Oh shit. That's right, my artist of the slightly shady deal. No shit. I look at the room. The stuff we bought together. The clothes. The... I don't need it. I look up. The sky's the color of television. Tuned to a dead channel. 